Hello everyone. The stomach is a muscular organ that lies on the left side of the upper abdomen and responsible for receiving food from the esophagus and breaking it down for digestion. It secretes acid and enzymes, contracts periodically, and turns food to enhance digestion of food. Today's topic is about one of the most critical diseases of the stomach, stomach cancer. Our role today is to answer most of your questions regarding stomach cancer. Today we have Dr. Lee who is leading Dr. Abucha Samir's hospital. He's going to discuss with us everything about stomach cancer from a medical point of view. I'm Ume. Before we start, please subscribe to our channel so the next time you'll be updated with our new releases. Hello, Dr. Hello. Lee. Yeah. Let's start by introducing yourself. I am Lee Hyman, a gastroenterologist from the Catholic University Hospital in Buchian. It was nice to meet you. So let's talk a little bit about the different types of stomach cancer that exist. When we normally say stomach cancer, about 95% or more are gastric adenocarcinoma. Aside from that, there are types such as soft tissue sarcomas, including gastrointestinal stromal tumors, GIST, lymphmosis, such as mucosa, associated lymphoid tissue, MALT, lymphomas and carcinoid tumors, NET. However, the vast majority of cases are gastric adenocarcinomas. So when we say stomach cancer, we generally refer to gastric adenocarcinomas. Mm. So usually what causes this kind of cancer? There are many known causes of stomach cancer. First is lifestyle. Alcohol and cigarettes are known causes of stomach cancer. Also, salty foods. Also, food coloring and preservatives high in nitric acids. Consumption of these items are likely to increase the risk of stomach cancer. Other diseases can lead to it as well, such as gastric gastritis or intestinal epithelial burn that can be diagnosed through an endoscope. Also, those who have gastrectomy also have elevated risks. Also, important is to know that the bacteria Helicobacter pylori's presence can increase the likelihood of developing stomach cancer. So, does the genetic factor play a role in, uh, or is also a risk factor of uh, stomach cancer? There are genetic factors for about 10% of cases. If a family member has or had stomach cancer, the risk increases, but solely genetic factors is estimated at 1 to 3% only. While small, yes, we can say there are cases where genetic factors play a role. So how about the gender and the age factor of uh, stomach cancer? In Korea, there are about four times more stomach cancers for men relative to women. Men are at more risk. Yeah, how about the age? As one ages, the risk goes up. When we assume a life expectancy of about 80, the risk keeps going up. Mm. So let's talk a little bit about the symptoms. Is it like the other cancers where there are no symptoms? Symptoms matter most, but about 80% of patients do not have any symptoms early on. Likewise, the converse is true. When symptoms are present, it usually means that the cancer has progressed. Hindered digestion ability, pain, which can be from other illnesses as well, is present when the cancer develops. Aside from that, if there is sudden weight loss or black disease, you must see a doctor for exam with the possibility of presence of stomach cancer. Mm -hmm. uh, what are the methods out there for diagnosis of stomach cancer? The most important exam is gastroscopy. Through gastroscopy, we can examine the gastroesophageal membrane and see if there is a presence of stomach cancer. We look carefully at the area through biopsy. If we discover cancer, it is important to designate the stage of the stomach cancer. For this purpose, a CT scan is key. An abdominal CT scan, we can ascertain the depth of the cancer, whether it has affected the lymph nodes, as well as distant metastasis can be seen and we can designate the stage. 
So I asked you about the types of stomach cancer. Now I want to ask you about what kind of stages are there for stomach cancer. In terms of stomach cancer stages, there are four stages. First, second, third, and fourth. First stage is still developmental. Second and third are developed stages. And the fourth is the most severe, and we call it terminal state as well. Regardless of stage, when it is frontal, we call it early gastric cancer. Uh, what are the treatments for stomach cancer patients? Like I said before, treatment depends on the stage. The most important treatment is surgery. Through surgery, we remove the affected tissue together with the lymph nodes. There are cases where we cannot proceed with, with removal surgery when the patient is not in good condition, or when the cancer has progressed way too much. In such cases, we use chemotherapy or radiation therapy. Okay. Can you tell us more in details about the surgery? How was it done? Mm -hmm. As I said before, we perform removal surgery partially or in full to remove the cancer. Also, it is important to remove the lymph nodes near the veins in order to limit the spread of the tumors. Once a partial or full removal is done, since we need to eat food, we connect the small intestines to the remaining stomach or the esophagus in a procedure called esophagectomy and gastric pull-up surgery. Long ago, it was all open surgery, but these days, with the advancement of many techniques, we use laparoscopy in a minimally invasive way by opening holes of about 5 to 10 millimeters. Therefore, the side effects such as pain is lowered and recovery is faster. There are many benefits. In the case of chemotherapy, is it often used in this case? Depending on the stage, we can divide the chemotherapy into two categories, supplemental and primary. We use supplemental chemotherapy after surgery in order to minimize reoccurrence. This is often used in second and third stage cancers. So we use chemotherapy in order to decrease the reoccurrence of cancer. So, for second stage, typically the reoccurrence is about 10 to 15 percent. For third stage, it is said to be around 40 to 50 percent. The aim is to limit the reoccurrence. And for the second type, it is when surgery is not possible or if the surgery is done, but the cancer has spread to other organs. In such cases, we use chemotherapy to increase the life expectancy of the patient or to limit the symptoms. So, in the case of stomach cancer, what is the prognosis? Like I said before, if we look at Korea's data, first stage, the cure rate is 95% or better. When treated at the second stage, recurrence is 10 to 15 percent within the five-year mark. For third stage, although it depends on the studies, it is at around 30 to 50 percent recurrence. In other words, 50 to 70 percent tend to survive the five-year mark. At the fourth stage, the average survival rate is about one to one and a half years. Okay. Mm, my last question, is there any suggestions you can give for people who want to mm. prevent stomach yeah. cancer? First, lifestyle is key, as I said in the early parts of this interview. It is important to cut down on alcohol and smoking cigarettes. In terms of food, avoid nitrates, food coloring, preservatives. Also, when eating red meat, avoid these ingredients. It is important to have regular checkups about gastroscopy. Okay, that was very clear. Thank you, doctor. Thank you. Today we learned many things about stomach cancer in detail, such as its symptoms and treatment. Thank you for joining us once again at Cult Hospital TV. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below and I will respond to you as soon as possible.